G'day guys, Morsey here. Just with a little concept that I've come up with. Um, it is um, wireless redstone. Um, I know the wireless redstone has been done a few times before and I'm not uh, saying this is the most amazing one but it's still pretty cool I think so I thought I'd show you. What we've got over here is a flashlight. A nice big flashlight and over here we've got a nice um, sort of ugly remote to go with it and if we press this green pressure plate here the flashlight turns on and if we press the red one the flashlight turns off now we're not using any command blocks um, no glitches no tricks it's all vanilla minecraft um, written into the game code and you might be wondering how this works so I'll give you a bit of a clue here if we go to sound and turn hostile creatures and friendly creatures on we can hear that hello okay don't talk then, be shy uh, so we've got a villager here and you probably guessed already over here we have a zombie riding a chicken now I saw this um, concept on YouTube somewhere a while back um, I can't remember who it was uh, but uh, someone had a like a player detector using a zombie jockey on a leash or a lead and basically when the zombie spotted you it would run onto the pressure plate and therefore it detected it when a player was nearby so I thought I could use this um, but I didn't know how and then recently uh, Etho put up a video um, talking about how zombies react to villagers and I thought that I might be able to use that so the way this works is we've got the zombie on a chicken uh, I've named him um, Sean so that he doesn't despawn and Sean is connected to this fence post and is being pulled back towards the fence post all the time uh, this point here is where he sort of sits because I put some blocks there and next to him is a pressure plate now when a villager is within a certain range uh, of the zombie um, and this is how we do it we have a minecart with a little track and when I push the green button it moves the minecart to the front and that is just close enough for the zombie to see him and start running towards it and there it's pressing the pressure plate and therefore giving us an, an on signal um, and if we want to turn it off all we have to do is take the villager away so it's out of range which is there and then the light is off because the leash or lead has pulled the zombie back so that's how it works um, it's kinda cool this is probably about uh, the largest range you have um, I saw some really cool um, wireless redstone designs on YouTube just before when I looked it up and there's some cool ones out there but yeah this is just a bit of an idea I had um, hopefully you like it and uh, yeah thanks for watching